Hey y'all, here are OS Reviews. Today we're taking a closer look at the iFeiyo S9 mouse. Now it may just look like a pretty traditional, boring mouse from the external here, but it has a unique function in that it has a built-in microphone and it claims to be an AI-powered translation mouse, which means that you can speak into the mouse and it can translate phrases in different languages for you. It even claims to support text translation at a click of a key. And of course, the mouse itself does look quite sleek, claims to offer faster speeds than typing as well in certain cases. And there's an advertisement here that says glass button. So it makes me believe that the material for the left and right click keys were also being made out of glass. However, I've already tested this out and I will say that this particular statement is not completely right. Uh, the faceplate is still being made out of plastic, Finally, the 500 milliamp hour capacity rechargeable battery can be claimed to last around 200 hours before you need to recharge it again. Packaging is kind of generic for something that's a bit more interesting on the inside. So we have just the mouse itself and other accessories include a carrying pouch as well that you can use to take the mouse when you're putting it into a backpack as well as a micro USB charging cable. Of course, USB type C would be even better, but for this price, it is what it is. There's also a quick user guide that includes the link to download the software. The design of the A9 mouse is nothing too special, I'd say. It does have a very low profile, however, so it's easy to take with you when you're traveling. However, it's not quite as large as a conventional mouse in terms of the thickness, as you can see there. So when you are putting it into your hands, I personally find the grip itself to be maybe a bit more flat. So that does take a little bit of adjustment. But aside from that, it's a full-size mouse, so it's comfortable enough to use. And then the actual left and right click keys have a texture to them, and they feel pretty tactile when pressing down. Although, again, this particular surface is made out of plastic and not glass, like maybe the ad there was trying to imply. However, the center scroll key here really is made out of metal and feels quite stiff, as well as tactile to press. Finally, there's two special keys in the middle here to really take advantage of the built-in microphone and one of these here is for the translation the second one here is for searching by voice and then on the back here we just have a power on and off switch some branding for this AI mouse the model number is also called the M203 and there's also the nano receiver for connecting it to your computer it's using 2.4 G so it's not using Bluetooth but overall it tucks away pretty cleverly into the mouse so here's what it looks like with it connected to a computer using one of the USB sockets and overall, again, it's very compact, plug and play, so very easy to use. If you want to access the smart translation functions, though, you do have to download their software. So this is their website. It's called MicLink, and you're able to kind of scroll down here to take a look at the respective version for Mac OS or for Windows. That includes things like your native language that you're speaking into. So by default, it recognizes between Chinese, English, Japanese, and you can also take a look at the DPI settings or the sensitivity of the mouse. It goes all the way up to 1,600, but you can also turn it down versus something that's less sensitive. You have to make a larger movement in real life to get the cursor to also move in that direction. So depending on your desk surface area and what you need to do, you can also change those settings. The light effect mode, you can turn on and off. So right now, if it's turned on, whenever you're clicking on something, it will flash blue once, as you can see there. Search engine, you can use Google for the auto translation or you can also change that to Yahoo or Baidu. The settings, we can change the language to turn on and identify punctuation more easily. Uh, we can also change the translated text into another language. This, this gives us a more complete list as well. So if you don't want to use one of these features, you can turn it off or disable it. And then finally, there is a quick help tab that takes a look at if the microphone has been detected on the mouse itself. As far as being a regular mouse is concerned, overall the sensitivity is quite good. It's a laser mouse, so everything works well as long as you're in a flat surface. And it's also a very quiet mouse as well, so it doesn't make too much sound as you're pressing down on the deck. However, the translation part, I will say, is a little bit more hit or miss. The software is definitely not the most polished thing, so it will have some occasional glitches. But here's a quick demo. I can tap on the speech key here to basically do a speech translation from English to Chinese right now. Let's do a test. Hello world. And you can see it didn't really recognize uh, what I said. So if you're in a slightly noisier environment, the microphone might struggle a little bit. Let's try it again. Hello world. And in this particular case, it just caught the second 
a word there, which is world, but sometimes it can get it right if you uh, enunciate your words. And you can see I said this is a test, it got it correctly, and uh, even right now it's actually doing an active test, so it's still picking up my voice. Technically there's two modes in terms of translation. You can tap once basically to trigger the microphone to always be on and listening, and it will just keep on recording a longer speech and convert that into text, or I can tap once again to stop the microphone from picking up my voice. If you want to do only a phrase or one specific sentence, you can long hold and keep on talking and then release when you're done talking, and it will also be disabled. And now for the second feature, which is for the search using voice, that by default will just open up a browser tab uh, searching for whatever you're going to say. So for example, this is a test. You can see it's recognized that. And after a few seconds, in our case, it will open up Edge and open up This is a Test using Google. I found the search to work a little bit better than the translation in terms of the consistency. And then for the text translation function, all you need to do is point the cursor at a particular word or phrase, uh, or kind of highlight it using your cursor point, and you can see a pop-up here that you can tap on, and that will also give you a quick translation from the original word into the uh, language that you set. So right now we are set to English, so of course it's not going to show much of a difference, but you can see it there. I can also hear the pronunciation as long as I'm connected to the internet of what the word sounds like. Unfortunately. So that's more or less it as far as our quick review of this A9 AI powered mouse or the M203 depending on the model that you're looking at. It really is just combining a regular mouse which is wireless with a built-in microphone and then has a software that you can download that combines some tricks for voice search, voice translation, and text search translation as well. As a voice translator it's definitely not perfect. Application at least requiring some optimization but kind of what I was expecting for something that's so cheap, again under 20 bucks. And the other functions for search as well as for the text translation do work surprisingly nicely. So you can check out more details if you are interested in the links below, but for now that's been our video. Thanks for watching here at OS Reviews.